Yeah, I mean, I kind of just want to dive right into all things AI. So, I mean, I was curious for you, like, when did you first get involved in AI or when was the, the spark of like, hey, this looks cool. Like, what's this all about? I love this conversation because it's crazy to me that ChatGPT didn't come out in, until last November. Like, it's only been out for like less than a year, but like these AI tools have like dramatically changed things uh, for for everyone. When ChatGPT first came out, I started messing around with it, but it was it was pretty bad at that point. Like, it was fun uh, as like a little tool to, to throw in there and have it like talk about the Declaration of Independence in the style of a pirate or something like that. But it wasn't like <laughs> there was there wasn't anything that was like super. Uh, I guess tactical for my work at that point, uh, but obviously just with the the iterations of ChatGPT over time, it became increasingly interesting for uh, my work, which was mainly doing like marketing and, and writing and, and things like that. Uh, but in addition to that, you know, tools like Dolly and Midjourney that came out at the end of last year as well, and then have uh, iterated. And, and uh, I, it wasn't until Midjourney four. Uh, that I really started feeling like there might be like some sort of narrative potential in like a cinematography or filmmaking context uh, for uh, AI tools. And so in early May, I was like, you know what? Like there's all these tools like DID, Midjourney, uh, ChatGPT. What if we like combined all these things together and put together a movie trailer? And so I put together a Star Wars concept as directed by Wes Anderson, really just like for fun in my free time. Like to be fully honest, I was feeling a little burnt out in my work and I just needed like some sort of creative outlet <laughs> to just test out all these new tools. And so I put together that project and I made it a point. I was like, I wanna use as much AI as possible because I just want to see like what the creative limit is on these tools. So I like used ChatGPT to write the script and even come up with the idea. Like I was like, I'm not going to come up with the idea. I want AI to come up with the idea. So it made the, the idea, did the script, uh, put together a shot list for me. Then I went over to Midjourney, pulled the images and used like tools like DID and Eleven Labs uh, to like animate the faces, do the voices. And then and threw it all together in Premiere with a little bit of After Effects and I put it out online and it like I went to bed it had like 200 views and I was like 200 views that's awesome <laughs> and I woke up the next day it was a Saturday morning and it had like over 500,000 views <laughs> wow. and like was going viral and I was like what the heck is going on later in the day some news organizations started picking it up and the next day I was just playing Mar Mario Kart with my friends and I looked down at my phone and the Hollywood Reporter had written about it. And by that point, it then got picked up in like every major uh, publication. And so it was a really, really strange weekend. <laughs> <laughs> what did you get up to on the weekend? Well, I just became a YouTube celebrity. You know, I'm curious for you, like what it's, it's been like to kind of looking at that from a filmmaking perspective of like um, just what these tools can do already versus I'm more excited to see where they go. Whenever I see something, it's like, oh, it's kind of janky. It's like it's not even give it 10 years it's like give it 10 weeks not even 10 months you know it's <laughs> yeah i'm kind of curious just to see what your take is on just watching all this kind of fester over, over such a short period of time i don't know if you agree but for me i feel like it's a full-time job just keeping up with all of these ai innovations <laughs> just really quickly i do a a uh, executive call with the two owners of action vfx and like one of them luke thompson is just obsessed with this stuff and like that's like one of my few outlets where I'm like, what what tools do I need to learn this week? So yeah, I, I can't keep up. It's impossible. That's so funny. Yeah, and I'm really good friends with the Action VFX guys. They're so awesome. I think like it's really interesting because like talking about timelines, like where we think things are going, like every single day there's some sort of new tool that promises to revolutionize some task in the production pipeline. I really honestly feel like the what we're seeing right now is the worst version of all of these AI projects that's ever going to exist. And so, you know, if we feel like they look a little uncanny or the characters don't quite look right, or maybe the camera movements look a little janky, they're only going to get better from here with updates and uh, those updates are happening at an incredible speed. You know, I didn't feel like when we saw ChatGPT back in November that we would be at a level where it's really hard to tell the difference between chat GPT written content by, you know, the computer and content written by a human. It's it's really insane. And in, in terms of like the future, like what this means for 
film and television, you know, 10 years from now, like if my kids are watching a, a show, like they'll more than likely be able to just kind of prompt and type in, you know, I want to watch Batman fighting Superman and I want to be the main character and they'll probably be able to watch something, you know? And so it's really interesting. And I, I don't know personally what this means like beyond the next two years or so, but I really do imagine that we're going to start seeing um, one, the first AI assisted films, which I would imagine this fall, we're going to start seeing a lot more press related to films that have embraced AI technology just in their production pipelines. Uh, we already have seen some of those, but just at a more expansive amount. It depends on and then the strike you can, as they put in the contract that it can't happen. But yeah, that's a whole other thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, that's a whole new uh, can of worms too. Yeah, but I, you know, I, I've been telling people I really do think within a year or so, uh, maybe even less, we'll see the first animated feature. And I already have a team that's that's working on that. And um, I, whether we're the first or not is uh, less of my concern. I, I just really feel like these tools can be used to tell compelling stories. And um, you know, it's it, to what extent is really um, anyone's guess. But I really do feel like more than ever people's creative taste is going to be more important you know so it's not just like your technical ability to do the task at hand it's going to be your ability to draw the art the art from it and and you can see this you know with like even the houdini world that i've lived in for a while you know there are technical people who are just amazing at the technical side of working inside of these softwares but like from an artistic taste perspective they may just be more more challenged and so i i think that artistic taste is going to be just wildly important um, as these technologies progress.